Hello there. So we're here today with Anthony Baker from Helping the Homeless. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. So the Giving Tree has been able to help your organization out, and we thought we'd take a minute just to talk to you a little bit about your organization and what you do. So can you tell me a little bit about Helping the Homeless? Sure, sure. Actually, it's uh, Helping the Homeless, Changing Lives, Making Others Smile. That's the full name. I know it's kind of long. Uh, it was founded in 2015. Uh, it started uh, based off of the legacy of my mother. Uh, basically, growing up, my mother, I would watch her basically uh, serve the homeless in her own way. Whenever we would come to Philadelphia, she would always have something, you know, to hand, you know, someone that we would pass by. So I was kind of influenced by her. Um, but uh, yeah, started in 2015. Started off as a small organization. Um, just a few of us would go out and uh, we would serve the homeless downtown Philadelphia. Um, then I used social media, Facebook, as a platform to uh, introduce it to other people. And uh, from there, it grew to what it is now. Now we have uh, 15 to 20 members. Um, I have a full board. Um, and we go down uh, into the Kensington section of Philadelphia now, and we serve uh, twice a month. We also have a kids program that we do, teaching the kids the importance of giving back. And uh, we just, uh, we go out and we made a lot of friends with, with our homeless friends and they know us and we know them. And it's just a real joy being out there serving them, seeing the smiles and- yeah having conversation with, you know, the people that we meet, so. That's great, and I, I do understand that I think a big part of it is gaining the trust of the homeless community, wouldn't you say? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, because we're basically coming into their community, you know, because the area we go into, um, nobody on a team lives in that area. So when we go out to serve, um, we're out there for at least, three to four hours and you know we're not out there just to serve we're engaging with the with the people um conversing you know laughing if there's music playing we're probably dancing it's just you yeah. know it's making it's like a like a big family function and it's just amazing that's it's great amazing. and so i've heard also that so many homeless individuals don't even get to hear their name said very often and they don't and sometimes when a person might know someone's name to just say, hello, John, it makes them feel good. It does, it does. Many of them are away from their families and um, to have you know somebody on our team or just anybody say their name or come back and remember their name, it's just, it brings them great joy. They, they get so excited. You know, I, I think it makes them feel like, you know, hey, I'm, I'm not invisible. I'm here. I'm still included in life. You know, somebody knows my name, you know, and they remember our names. You know, I remember walking down the street. I was commuting somewhere and uh, uh, somebody said, hey, Anthony. And I turned around. I'm looking like, oh, my goodness, you know, and I, I didn't recognize him because I see so many people. But he was like, yeah, you know, I'm such and you know, such. And um, I was in a line, you know, you gave me a sandwich and you gave me some sock rolls and yeah. So it was just amazing for them to even remember my name. I get excited. <laughs> right, exactly. <clears throat> so is that some of the biggest things you think you've learned from working with the homeless community? Yes. Just, just how they react to your interaction? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So when you're able to share, I know you mentioned sock rolls and of course that's a giving tree item. So when you're able to share Giving Tree gifts or cards that are made by the students that we work with, how do the how do the individuals that you meet, how do they react to that? I mean, do they get very happy and enjoy that and love it? I'd love to share that with our students. Absolutely. To have, we, we've gotten a few things from Giving Tree, but to have the sock rolls, it's like, you know, two for the price of one, you know, you're getting, not only you're getting socks to keep your feet warm, but you're getting snacks inside of the socks. So it's like, 
they're like, wow, you know, I've never seen anything like this, you know, thank you so much, you know. And then we've even gotten uh, kindness cups from Giving Tree. And uh, it was this, they, I think it had like little sayings on the side of the cup and it had a bunch of snacks inside the cup. And what else did we get? We got a, a, quite a few things. We got, well, the cards. When we have our annual Christmas event, the kids made uh, a bunch of Christmas cards with nice sayings on them. And they just read them and their face to light up, you know. And I remember uh, a woman that we work with. Well, well, now we, we do strictly Kensington, but we used to move around. A woman that we met down 16th and JFK downtown Philadelphia. She uh, got a card from our Christmas event. And then when we came back to do the Christmas event, again, we had more cards. Did you know she pulled out the card that she had from the year before and she was like, I still got this one, you know, and it was just like, wow, you had that car. So, yeah, so they, it means a lot, you know, when they open up something um, from kind, I mean, from a giving tree. And, uh, yeah, you would think, to, you know, to us, you would think like, okay, you know, it's, you know, something small, but to them, it means the world, you know, to to have somebody write something inspirational on a card or the kindness cup, it's just amazing. Right. Well, that's great. It's great to hear. Um, would you say that there are certain items that you find are really in need the most? Can we tell people about that? Is there something that you find the homeless community really um, is just in need all the time? I know socks are a big item. Anything else? Um, I would say socks and I would say uh, taller trees. You know, they always get excited when we have like soap or uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, deodorant, um, shampoo and conditioner, stuff like that. Stuff that they can hold on to and, you know, they can keep for a while. And then, you know, when they come back again, they can get more. But stuff like that, they always can use. That's great to know. And if someone only has the opportunity to make one thing, maybe one card or one bag, uh, can you say what your opinion is on that? I mean, is that so awesome that you, even if you're only helping one person? Yes, that's really awesome. You don't know the impact of just making one thing that we think is small. It's the world to somebody else. Right. So, um, yeah, it could change. I was just telling my team this the other day when we had a meeting, something as small as um, a sandwich to give somebody we, we think, okay, it's just a sandwich, it's two pieces of bread with lunch meat on there. <laughs> to them, it's like, you know, not, it's just, it's not, yes, it's filling their stomach, but also it's like somebody cared enough to give me a sandwich, you know, right. they're out, you know, they could be at home, they could be doing something else, but they're out here giving me a sandwich that they made, you know, and, and I'm getting it for free. So, right. yeah. No, I think that's important. That is something that we try to tell our students all the time is to never feel like they can't do enough, that even if they do one thing, they've changed someone's day. You know, exactly. they've, they've made them happy. So that's super important. Well, I really appreciate your time today and sharing all that you do out on the streets and helping people. That's amazing. And we're going to keep doing what we do, trying to teach these kids that, you know, giving back is super important and should be a part of their their minds and their hearts. So thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. And the recording here. Uh, let's see.